I'd like to introduce to you one of the individuals is currently being helped by the emerging field of precision medicine. Catherine Benson is a young woman, a Minnesota mother of four children. And she was, she was a successful working professional until she received a stunning piece of news. In the middle of her full and busy life, she was diagnosed with lung cancer. Perhaps when you hear the words lung cancer, you immediately think of an older individual, a longtime smoker, not heeding the warnings or unable to quit an unhealthy habit. Firstly, this is a harsh judgment. Secondly, it, it must be countered with the facts. Catherine Benson was not a smoker. Catherine is currently using targeted agents to treat her cancer. Though she has left her full-time professional career, she's become a busy advocate for for research for lung cancer treatment. She has traveled to Washington to discuss the Cancer Moonshot Initiative with President Joe Biden. And she is an active volunteer for the Breath of Hope Foundation to create awareness for lung cancer and change in the field. Today she will give us a clear picture of the face of precision medicine in the cancer setting from a patient's point of view. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Katherine Benson. Good morning. Hope you all had a great weekend. Happy Father's Day. My name is Katherine Benson. 18 months ago, I was diagnosed with stage four non-smoking lung cancer on New Year's Eve 2014. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your support. It makes me happy and honored to be speaking here today. Lung cancer is America's number one cancer killer. Anyone with lungs can get lung cancer. With that said, when I was a little girl, I always dreamed of having a family, but I never dreamed of not being there to watch my kids grow up. Because of people like you, I am still standing here today 18 months later, after I was told I had 12 to 24 months to live on chemotherapy. If I had been diagnosed at least five years ago, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't be here talking about the new targeted therapies. I was a match for, which has prolonged my life and my quality of life. Last summer, I was even able to participate in the Susan G. Coleman three-day walk with my good friend Pam Jacobson. This month, I watched my son graduate from high school. I spent the night in the car with my daughter on her 16th birthday so she could be the first to, take, first to be in line to take her driver's test. Yeah. <laughs> my 13-year-old daughter went on her first overnight camping trip which was harder for me than for, than for her, I'm sure. And last week, my youngest daughter and I went to Washington, D.C. with my dad, Congressman Rick Nolan, for some extra special together time. While I was in D.C., I was also honored to be able to watch my dad get an amendment added to the Department of Defense bill for an additional $2 million towards lung cancer research. Very proud of him. Lung cancer kills almost twice as many women as breast cancer. With more awareness and better early detection screening and precision medicine, I hope we can change this number. For a few years, I had mentioned, to my, mentioned at times to my sister, who's here with me today, um, that something was wrong, but I couldn't put a finger on it. The cancer had been, could have been growing for two to three years. During random doctor's appointments with my kids, I would ask the doctors about my swollen lymph nodes I had here. Every response was the same. You're young, you work out non-smoker, the lymph nodes are just doing their job. I can remember actually playing with my lymph nodes at times, and I'd ask my husband if he thought it was weird that I could feel them. When I was diagnosed, I was 40 years old, wife, mother, and working full-time. There were times that I thought maybe I was depressed. My workouts were becoming even harder and harder. But cancer was never considered. I thought there was something wrong with me, but I couldn't fix it, and it was very frustrating. Knowing what I know now, I could, have, I could have gotten ahead of the cancer before it became stage four. Even up until the day I went in to see my general practitioner for a persistent cough, I felt like I was wasting the doctor's time. I'm young, I've always been in good shape, and I figured I was depressed from lack of sleep, and it's Minnesota, everyone gets a cough. But that day changed. The doctor said, let's get an x-ray of your lungs just to see if there's anything. I'm grateful every day for the targeted therapies that have prolonged my life and my quality of life. My cancer mutation is EGFR exon 19. There are two targeted therapy drugs approved for my cancer mutation. 
The in I initially started on a fatinib, 400 milligrams. However, the side effects were not sustainable. I had mouth sores within the first week that were so painful I needed to take uh, painkillers just to get through the day. My doctor immediately, oh, and I lost seven pounds too, which is a lot for me. Um, my doctor immediately changed me to Tarsiva. Uh, I lasted on that for 15 months. At 15 months, at that time, the cancer started to increase. On a side note, I also want to say I'm very grateful for the new blood biopsy that I was able to take at that time, which my doctors determined that my cancer had not mutated into a different gene type. So I still have EGFR exon 19, and the doctors decided that they would continue to put me back on a fatinib at a lower dosage of 300 milligrams. And that was on May 14th. My side effects have been minimal, and I will have a doctor's appointment Monday the 27th in a week to determine if the cancer is contained. I'm very hopeful, and I'd like to say that I have a lot of hope with the continued progress that I have witnessed in just the short time that I have been diagnosed. There is so much hope with all of the progress that's being made. Thank you. Um, I still have new options with immunotherapy, thanks to the research being funded, and I hope to be here to watch all my kids graduate from high school and college and come home, come home for family dinners. I can live with stage four cancer. It's not the same life, but it is a great life. And thank you for your time, support, and research. And thank you for pushing for more to be done with early detection and precision medicine. Have a good day. This woman is nothing short of remarkable. Let me tell you, she is an active mom. She has four young children. And um, Catherine, you're an amazing woman. Thank you so much for coming today. So with Catherine's story, she has evidence that targeted therapies in lung cancer are nothing short of remarkable. However, there is a long way to go in curing lung cancer. But as Catherine is, I am also hopeful that there will be progress and someday lung cancer and other terrible cancers are only going to be chronic diseases that a person lives an entire lifetime for.